The PGA Tour makes $1.5 billion a year. And just like the PGA Tour and how they make money, you can be doing the same things in tons of different industries. So we're gonna dive in right in talking about that. Now, the PGA Tour has a bunch of players and they go to all different types of competitions. They play throughout the year and then there's signature events that they make even more money. Now, you could be seeing this done in a couple different ways. Now, uh, in the news, we just saw, unfortunately, what Nintendo did, uh, how they shut down that tournament uh, where it was going to be a World Cup. But there are tons of video games that are popping up and doing different world tournaments and working with different publishers to do that. Now, you could be doing the same thing with board games, with STEM and robotics. For example, if there's a very specific game like maybe Knights of Catan or Settlers of Catan, you could be just having a world tour nationally in the United States or, or in different countries and then have a giant tournament to decide who the best player is in the world. Now, also teachers could be doing the same thing with STEM. If it's math competitions, they could be having a full out spectacle event and it's different math and science events and really hype these kids up. Uh, if they've done that with League of Legends and if you've seen those kids, people like they, they don't look athletic, it doesn't matter. If it's the presentation, you could do that with STEM easily. And that's not all. You could also do this with robotics as well. BattleBots years ago did this. You'd be doing something similar in the same kind of format. I actually think if you had it on TikTok or IG, it actually would work even better now. And people are saying, well, how could they even you know, manage it or do competitions like this. There's a, tons of sites such as like start.gg that allows you to uh, manage the competition and all these different things. Now we're gonna go back to the uh, PGA Tour making 1.5. How do people even make money on this thing, right? Well, think about how the PGA Tour makes money. It's sponsorship, they work with different advertisers and no matter what's going on with your your industry, there are platforms and companies that want to get in front of your audience. You can find this anywhere. You can find this for pickleball. You can find this for weightlifting. You can go to curling. Everyone has these industry standards or these companies that want to sell things to your target audience. And so you can partner with them. And especially if you're having multiple stops and different things going on with the tour, you can have different opportunities for them to buy in at different tier prices. Now, the reason, obviously, it took some time, decades, how the PGA Tour can keep getting paid, but they keep making money <laughs> every time they renegotiate. It doesn't get smaller. They keep making money. Likewise, if you're getting started with a competition in a circuit, start out with just a few things or maybe one stop, one competition, and then add more locations to build that circuit over time. Uh, if you're looking at different uh, different circuits that are trying to go against the PGA Tour, that's what they're doing. They're starting out with these uh, test events, and then they're building up to another year of, um, of more events going through that. Now, if, if we look at what's going on with Nintendo, that is one thing of caution and what's going on with, um, you know, there's a bit of drama in the Smash community. They're basically, they're looking at Nintendo was saying that they weren't going to give a license and the, the people that were going to be doing this event had to shut down uh, just a few weeks before it actually came about. So it depends on if you're working with another entity and you're licensing that kind of game or what you're doing. So just keep that in mind as well. There's a lot of politics and Nintendo has put out a statement saying like, no, it's fine. There's tons of drama about that. There's a Ludwig and other people have done great videos about that. Um, but just keep in mind, there's a lot of nuances if you're going to be going with a certain video game that's well known. If it's different if it's an indie game. It's I'm assuming it's far easier to talk to the team and let them know what you're playing to do versus a you know iconic game like Smash Brothers. And diving into different articles talking about how they make money. Uh, there's a few other things to keep in mind, too. Um, if they're going to be working... Oh, they have sponsorships for everything. For the gloves, for the ball, for the different events, the you know the tournament places that they play. Uh, that's a, another thing that's special. So think about all the different sponsorship opportunities that you could be doing 
if you're going to be doing your own circuit as well. Now, that's just one of the news uh, points of what's going on in technology and business. If you have a story that you want me to cover or you have more questions about how you can get started in business right now, make sure in the comment section down below, let me know what's going on. And if you like these kind of stories, make sure that you like and subscribe.